again, been a minute, um, because I don't really know why. Honestly, July was a blur of a month. Um, it was busy. Here, I can put some, I'll put some like highlights from July. Right here. Do, 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 do. So you can see what we've been up to. Cheers. Cheers. And um, we're starting a little late. It's eight o'clock on a Saturday, um, Saturday, August 8th. We just finished up an intimate wedding elopement in Stanley, Idaho. Gorgeous, it was gorgeous. Oh yeah, it was, it was so pretty. nice. I'll put some photos here too of the elopement. Um, yeah, and we, um, yeah, we were shooting till 7.30 and got on the road. Jeez, what are these children doing? Where are your parents? Well, shit lens. Hmm, did not like that. Um, and, yeah, so we finished at 7.30, we ate some dinner, and then now we are heading two and a half hours um, towards Salmon, Idaho. It's kind of like a halfway point between our destination tomorrow. We're heading to Helena, Montana for a engagement shoot for a couple that I have um, for next year, which I'm very excited about. And yeah, so we are making our way to Salmon. We got some roadie cupcakes. Yeah, we got some cupcakes from the wedding, but we're gonna be kind of like in the mountains for two and a half hours, and it's starting to get, it'll get dark in like the next hour or so. We'll take it easy, take it nice and slow. There are animals and stuff up here, so I wanna be careful. They just shine their brights. Look at this, bud. We're gonna show you guys what we're up to this weekend and take you guys along, cause that's just, you know, so fun. Whoa, my voice. <clears throat> Shooting all day in a mask really does something to your throat. It's like very like groggy feeling, but you know, I can't complain. People wear masks for their jobs all the time. Um, it's the morning after we got into Salmon. This is our hotel room and our little to-go bags of breakfast. I think we left the vlog camera in the car. So I wanted to show you guys still. And then we also got a riverfront room. I want to kind of go out here actually, let's see. I know. Yeah, here, look at this. Right outside our room. 
is the river, which is super nice actually. However, yesterday we had a debacle with our Airbnb. So um, once we get in the car, um, we are gonna tell you guys all about it. I just, we need to eat our breakfast really quick and get back on the road because we have another three and a half hours to drive today. Um, but yeah, quite an interesting evening for us. Um, can't wait to tell you guys about it. Okay, we're leaving the stagecoach in, which was our savior last night because we got to our Airbnb and we had actually communicated with our Airbnb that we weren't gonna be getting into like 10.30 at night. Um, and we got there in this like kind of residential part of the town, we've never been here before. It was really creepy, no street lights. And <clears throat> not a light on and like the keys just like left outside. So we we're already kind of feeling a little like uneasy about it. And um, we get in there and Ryan's like, I have to use the bathroom, goes in there and there's like five earwigs in the bathroom, just like crawling all over. And then we found a tick in the living room. There were other bugs just kind of like crawling throughout multiple rooms. It was just disgusting. Um, and just made us feel super uncomfortable. Cause I was like, these are just the bugs we're seeing. Like what if there's bugs in the bed? Like I don't want an earwig or a tick getting on me. It was pretty nasty. It was gross. Like and normally like, I know I'm dramatic, but like Ryan felt uncomfortable as well and so I was like honestly like we're canceling the Airbnb I like I'm gonna file a claim because I sh feel like we should get our money back and we went to the stagecoach in which was good it was like totally fine um, the place we we're also staying like we always check Airbnb first um, because we like Airbnb and like I like supporting the company and um, I literally like now am probably just gonna go back to hotels for a little bit unless like like all the reviews were good so I'm like I just don't know how all the reviews were good, but I messaged the Airbnb owner telling them what was going on and then she messaged back this morning like saying she hadn't seen it and she was really apologetic. But then she also said, she was like, it's been cleaned recently. We should have had someone come, come through and check it before you guys got there. Which, like we're living in a pandemic right now. I don't know how what recently means, but that makes me assume that they cleaned it after the last person left, and then like how who knows how long that's been? Has that been a week? Has that been two weeks? Like when did they have it cleaned last? And like how long has there like been bugs just like festering in their house? Yeah, it's just I don't know. I don't think it's acceptable. I don't think it's right. Um, did not like it at all. So we left. Um, but we are, we were gonna get breakfast in this town, but we want nothing to do with this town. We would like to leave now. <laughs> it was just like, did not give us the best impression. So we're gonna grab some gas and um, a water because there was nowhere to fill up our water and um, then head up to Helena, which is about just under three and a half hours away and then get some lunch there. So yeah, that was like our little Airbnb story and I'm just, wasn't a fan. We just got into our hotel in Helena and I like booked a nicer hotel but it was still really inexpensive um, and I'm just like whoa there's some nice digs for the night. It's like a full like yeah. area in the hotel. So bed everything like that full I mean we don't need to sew it like or iron anything nice little workspace we got the TV we have a whole sitting area as well and a nice full length mirror and a full setup with a kitchen. We have a dishwasher, a fridge, a freezer, a microwave. I'm like, wow, well, maybe we don't want to leave tomorrow, Ryan. We can just hide out here. I haven't even seen the bathroom. Um, it's pretty nice. It's like a really nice shower, actually. Fridge. Good stuff. A full fridge and freezer. Wow. Well, we got to check in early. It's only like 1.45, almost 2 o'clock, and so we are going to um, probably, I need to freshen up a little bit, and then we're going to go get lunch. Shout out to our friends Cassie and Maddie that went to Carroll College. We're in your neck of the woods. We are going to grab lunch at Brew House. Um, one of my past brides and friends lived in Helena growing up for part of her life and recommended this spot. So we're going to go get some food, probably a beer, and then maybe run to the store or something and grab something for tonight after the shoot. 
But yeah, looks pretty good. I don't know. Wow. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Okay. We just took a nap. We went to Target. I got some sweats. We got some beer for tonight when we get back and some cheesecake bites. I had two of them and they are so good. I just like love sweets at night. Um, I think that if we um, are hungry tonight, I think we're just gonna like order Domino's or something because our shoot's gonna go to like 8.45. I have a feeling like we're gonna end up like hanging out longer. It should be another door on the other side too. Ryan's like trying to figure out this door thing. Yeah. Um, but we're not gonna worry about, about like getting dinner like officially tonight because we don't really know what time we're gonna get back. But I have everything mapped in for the night. Um, it's about 45 minutes away um, where we're going. We're going to their lake house and then gonna go just kind of adventure around that area for the shoot. And if Ryan tried to take a couple of videos on the phone. Honestly, this hotel is so comfy. They have blackout sheets here, which I feel like they're like some of the best blackout sheets that I've ever seen. It was such a nice place to take a little nap. I loved it. Um, I wish we didn't have to leave so early tomorrow morning because we've got to get back to town. But yeah, that's about it for now. This town's pretty cute. Ryan, do you like this town? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's a cool, cool town, but I'm hoping we don't get eaten alive at a lake. Just is realizing that. I'm like just finally recovering from all these bug bites on my leg. Oh my gosh, I never even showed them my burn on YouTube. Oh god. Okay, fun story time. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know this, but I am like recovering from a pretty bad burn camping. Like, uh, not a sunburn, like a burn from the fire pit. So there's like a fire pit where we camp and there's like a grate that you can like pull over to the top and like it like becomes like a grill on the top of the fire pit. We never have it up because we never use it as a grill so it's always just like flipped over to the side and it's kind of like hangs off sideways. Um, and I got, I was like walking, thank goodness I had a beer in my hand because I walked and like I got like my feet tripped up in it and I like leaned into the fire pit as I was like falling down. So, warning, I'm gonna give you like five seconds. Skip ahead like 20 seconds or so if you don't want to see the burn but here we go this is what the burn looks like so um yeah it's honestly so much better like this is all like skinned just discolored as like the as it's healing this part up here is still pretty tender and dry and same with this part i need to actually put some like lotion or ointment on they're pretty big like that's my hand next to it so pretty big burns um yeah they're pretty bad um, when it first happened, but this is like over two weeks now of recovery and they're like totally fine now. I can actually wear pants again. That's nice because there was a while where I was just wearing men's basketball shorts and I was feeling pretty gross. So yeah, it's a fun little story time for you guys. All right, oh. I'm gonna get ready, all my stuff ready and then we're gonna get going. We're getting close to the shoot location now. I'm oh, really excited. Nice it's gorgeous out here. It's just like right out in the mountains. Lots like we're going out to a lake. It's just really pretty. Honestly, a lot of the drive reminded us of Colorado. Like lots of like red rock, honestly. Montana's really nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous, but it's like 45 minutes north of Helena. I think north? I think that's where we're going. Yeah, north. <laughs> like I don't even know. Um, but yeah, this couple booked me for their engagements and their wedding next year. So I'm excited to meet them.
Hey guys, I'm just popping on to end the vlog. Oh my god, I, we never vlog on the way home from trips. I just think it might be impossible for us. Um, pretty much, I just drove home for the first part and then Ryan and I switched and we kind of just slept on and off because we were both pretty tired. I swear, just we do so many road trips during the summer and like they just take it out of us. But yeah, just been a busy week over here. We have just been working away. Life is just so crazy with COVID and everything going on and weddings and, um, you know, just constant. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and got to just, you know, come with us on our little trip. And I'm actually going dress shopping this weekend and I'm going to have my friend Darren vlog the experience. So keep an eye out for that. This is me saying it to hold me accountable as well. So excited to show you guys some dresses that I try on. I don't know. It should be fun. So... Oh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye